All right, so now we got this uh, high-tech and personal computer company it has three processes which uh, the computer must go through that before it sends in a customer. The first process is assembly, which takes an average of an hour with a standard deviation of 15 minutes. The second process is the software, which takes 90 minutes and a standard deviation of 10 minutes. And the third process is testing, which takes uh, 30 minutes with a standard deviation of 5 minutes. And then it tells us the assembler makes $15 an hour, the guy loading the software makes $18, and the tester makes $20 per hour. So what are the mean and standard deviation for the total time? So the total time, we have one hour, okay, we have 90 minutes, and we have 30 minutes. So I'm going to just change one hour to 60 minutes. Then the uh, software takes 90 minutes, and then the testing takes 30 so the average total time that it will take is 180 minutes. The standard deviation of the total, since those three phases are independent, we got to add the variances. Okay, so the assembly takes 15 minutes, so the variance there would be 15 squared. The software takes 10, so the variance there is 10 squared, and then the testing takes 5, so we're going to do 5 squared. So we're going to add all those together and then take the square root. So we get 15 squared plus 10 squared plus 5 squared. And we're going to take the square root of that and we get 18.71 uh, minutes. So part B is what are the mean and standard deviation for the total expense now? Okay. So now what we got to do is the assembler makes $15 an hour, okay? So the mean time to assemble is uh, one hour and he makes $15 an hour, so that's $15, okay? The standard deviation for assembly is 15 minutes and he makes $15 an hour, so we're going to do 15 times a quarter of an hour and a quarter of 15 is uh, three dollars and seventy five cents then we got to do the software so the average cost to load the software he does 90 minutes which is an hour and a half and he makes eighteen dollars an hour so we're going to do eighteen times one and a half and we get twenty seven dollars and the standard deviation is 10 minutes 10 minutes is one sixth of an hour so we're going to do 18 times one sixth of an hour and that's going to be three dollars and then testing that takes an average of 30 minutes he makes twenty dollars an hour so we're going to do 20 times a half an hour that costs ten dollars standard deviation to test is five minutes so if we do uh, five divided by 60 it's actually one twelfth so that's going to be 20 times one twelfth and uh, that's going to be about a dollar sixty-seven. So the mean total amount is going to be the fifteen plus the twenty-seven plus the ten. And if we do that, you get uh, thirty-seven fifty-two dollars. The standard deviation of the total cost is we're going to add the variances. So we got to do three point seven five squared plus 3 squared plus $1.67 squared. Take the square root of those to get the standard deviation. So you do 3.75 squared plus 3 squared plus $1.67 squared. And then take the standard devi uh, the square root of that and it's $5.08. Okay. And then it says what is the mean, uh, the mean and standard deviation for the difference? And cost between assembly and software. Okay, so the mean difference between software 
and assembly uh, is $27 minus $15 so on average the software costs $12 more the standard deviation of the difference that we do software minus assembly we add the variances so we do 3.75 squared plus 3 squared take the square root of that okay so if we do 3.75 squared plus 3 squared take the variance of that we get four dollars and eighty cents now what is the probability it will that it will take longer to assemble the computer than it will to uh, load the software okay so what we got to figure out here is uh, assembly takes on average an hour and then the uh, software takes on average 90 minutes so we're going to do software minus assembly in time now so we're going to do 90 minutes minus 60 minutes so on average software takes not 30 dollars 30 minutes more the standard deviation of those differences is going to be 15 squared plus 10 squared and we're going to take the square root of that so 15 squared plus 10 squared and then take the square root of that and it's 18.03 minutes so this is like the last problem that we looked at right so the average difference is 18 minutes I'm um, sorry the average difference is 30 minutes so when assembly is more than software then that's where zero minutes is and below that is where it would become negative again so we got to do a z-score so we're going to do a z-score of 0 minus 30 over 18.03 so we get negative 30 divided by 18.03 I get negative 1.66 so this is negative 1.66 and we're going to shade it all the way to the left so that's negative 99 to negative 1.66 so we do norm CDF negative 99 to negative 1.66 and we get about 0.048 so the answer is about 5% of the time we expect the assembly to take more time than it took to load software on the computer.